Some other uses for unit rates would be um, converting money between dollars and euros. For example, Emma is traveling to Italy for spring break. She's preparing for shopping by studying the exchange rate between the euro and the dollar. To ensure she does not overspend, she wants to have in mind the equivalent dollar amount for some euro prices. So here's what she found on Google, and I actually went on Google and found this conversion. It, it's probably going to be about three months or more old, but this is what it was on the day that I looked. And so I want you to look at this information here and tell me what is the unit exchange rate for American dollars to euros. And the euro, by the way, has this funky E shape that looks like this. It looks like a C and then it has two lines in the middle. That's the symbol for euros. So we want dollars to euros. And so we have one US dollar is 0.91 euros. So we can write it like this, one dollar to 0.91 euros. Now the problem is that that's not really a unit exchange rate. That's sort of backwards. And so if I want to go the other way, I really need the euros, which is on my denominator, to be a one. So instead of using this one, because it's not really a unit exchange rate, I would want to use this other one, which is written here, which is one euro. That's great, because that's my denominator. I want that to be one. One euro is a dollar ten. Okay. So then that is a unit exchange rate for dollars to euros. So $1.10 per euro. Okay, and then part B, we want the unit exchange rate for euros to American dollars. So that's going to be euros to dollars. And that's the one that we wrote a minute ago. So we'll put 0.91 euros over one dollar. So we can say 0.91 euros per dollar. Okay. If Emma will have two hundred dollars for spending money, how much is that in euros? So part C, we want to do a proportion equation to help us do a conversion. So she has euros, we can, we have the dollars to euros there, right? So she has two hundred dollars and that's x euros and then we set that equal to our dollars 1.10 over 1 euro. Now this we could use either fact but we just have to make sure we write them in the same order. If we put dollars on the numerator on both we have to do that on both sides of the equal sign and if we decide we want to put euros for the numerator and dollars for the denominator, we just need to do that on both sides of our equal sign and then our equations will work out. So here it looks like we have an x in our denominator and a 1 in our denominator. So we'll just multiply both sides by x times 1 or just x and so I'll put that over here as well. Here the x's undo and I'm left with 200 equals $1.10 times x. And I want that x by itself. So I will do the opposite of multiply and I will divide by that $1.10 on both sides. And so then I end up these $1.10 cancel and I have x equals 200 divided by $1.10, 200 divided by 1.1 and I get 181.818. So I'm going to change that to a 2. And that is in, I'm looking back for what units I have. And part C, the X was euros. So this is in euros. So that is $200 is 181.82 euro. One more question and that is Part D, when she's in Italy, Emma finds a leather bag priced at 200 euros. So we have 200 euros. And she knows she's over her budget, but she wants to know by how much. So she has 200 euros to X dollars. And then we'll set that equal to a conversion fact um, that gives us probably this one here that goes from euros to dollars. And so it'll be 0.91 euros. 
to one dollar and so then I'll multiply both sides by x times one or just x and over here as well these x's cancel on the left and on the right I'm left with 0.91x on the left I have x it's canceled so I just have a 200 remember I want the x by itself so I'm going to divide both sides by 0.91 because 0.91 is being multiplied by the x right here and I want to get it by I want the x all by itself so I need to strip off that 0.91 by using an opposite operation they were being multiplied the opposite of multiply will be divide so I'll divide both sides by 0.91 on the right 0.91 over itself is 1 and so I just have 1 times x or x and on the left I need to do that division on my calculator so I have 200 divided by 0.91 and I get 219.780 so since I have a 0 following the pennies position I'll just leave it as 78 because remember it has to be 5 or higher for me to bump up and this is American dollars because I'm checking back up here and I see that it was X dollars and so my answer is American dollars and then I look back what it was my actual question how much is she over budget by so her budget was two hundred dollars and if she buys if she buys this purse that's two hundred euros then she will be nineteen dollars and seventy eight cents over budget I just subtracted off the two hundred um, that's it for 4.1 make sure you do your wikis and make sure you do your hawks.